So in this video, uh, we've got a particle of weight 50 newtons is attached to the middle of a light inextensible string with both ends of the string attached to the ceiling as shown. Okay, so there's our diagram. The particle is in equilibrium. Find the tension in the string either side of the particle, given that the string makes an angle 20 degrees with the horizontal. Okay, so we are interested in working out the tension that is in the string. Okay, now both of those tensions, either side will be precisely the same because the particle is in the middle of the string. So effectively, we've got a mirror image picture here where this is 20 degrees as well. Okay, and we've got the weight working vertically downwards, which is 50 newtons. So this is my diagram. So what I'd like to do is to resolve this force into its uh, components. Now, I'm only going to be interested in looking at uh, the vertical direction because the horizontal forces are just going to be that one and that one, which are cancelling each other out anyway, so they're going to be equal and opposite. What I need to do is just look at the vertical ones, okay? And that would, should isolate T for me. So the opposite side to my right angle triangle here, okay, so the opposite, so sine of the angle, so sine of 20, must be equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So the opposite side must be T sine 20. And likewise over here, the opposite side will be T sine 20. So if I resolve my forces, taking upwards as positive... I've got T sine 20 plus T sine 20. They're the two forces going upwards. Take away the force going downwards, which is 50 newtons. And that's going to be equal to zero because we are in equilibrium. So 2T sine 20 must be equal to 50. So T has to be 50 divided by 2 sine 20. 20. So 50 divided by 2 times sine of 20, and that gets me 73.1 um, newtons to three significant figures. Okay? And so that's how we can find out the tension in the string.